Big wave surfing is nearly a sport within itself. It is addictive and creates adrenaline junkies. In a 15-second swell period scenario, a 50-foot wave, 15 meters, carries about 1.7 megawatts of power across each meter of a wavefront. As a result, surfing huge waves can be a death sentence for those without the knowledge, physical and mental training, and experience in extreme spots and adverse weather conditions. A little dose of courage and commitment is always welcome because there's just too much at stake. The risk of losing your family and friends forever is a strong variable in an equation that features a human being challenging Mother Nature's will. In other words, safety procedures and professionalism might not be enough to survive unexpected events in high surf. Heavy, big, fast, and deadly. In big wave surfing, time and timing are two different things. There's a time to paddle hard and go for it, and then there's the stand-up timing. If you've decided to surf the biggest wave of your life, there are a few things you should know. First of all, be prepared in all the dimensions that come with it. Then, get the right surf gear, book a jet ski, and find boat support. Finally, decide if you're paddling into the wave or getting towed into a giant mountain of moving water. The biggest waves in the world can be found and ridden across all continents. With the right swell and wind conditions, you might be lucky enough to ride a couple of monstrous waves. Carefully selecting which wave will open its face in the right moment for the takeoff is compulsory. A subtle mistake could be disastrous. Some of the most dangerous and extreme surf breaks on the planet come to life dozens or even hundreds of miles offshore in the open ocean and can only be reached by boat or helicopter. Take a look at the world's most famous big wave spots. Praia do Norte, Nazaré, Portugal. Home to several Guinness World Records, including the largest wave ever ridden and biggest wave ever surfed by a woman, Nazaré's Praia do Norte is a rare natural phenomenon. Despite being a beach break, it is so powerful and heavy that some call it, the surfboard breaking machine. The big waves of Nazare were first ridden by local bodyboarders and a few international athletes, which include nine-time world bodyboarding champion Mike Stewart. The highly disputed giants of Praia do Norte are the result of a combination of four variables, swell refraction, rapid depth reduction, converging waves produced by an underwater canyon, and a local water channel. Jaws, Peahi, Maui, Hawaii. At Jaws, also known as Peahi, waves can easily reach between 30 and 80 feet. It is probably the fastest, heaviest, and largest wave in the Pacific Ocean. The surf break became popular in the 1990s when Laird Hamilton decided to get towed into the wave by a jet ski, using a surfboard equipped with foot straps. The submerged reef break produces a barreling right hand and occasionally delivers a few rideable yet dangerous left handers. Sometimes, this unpredictable beast closes out, resulting in broken boards and broken bones. Teahupoo, Tahiti, French Polynesia. Teahupoo is one of the heaviest and deadliest waves in the world. The infamous Tahitian surf break produces a super thick, hollow, and fast moving barreling wave that breaks over a shallow and sharp reef. The height of a Teahupoo wave face is between two and three times bigger than the wave's back. The ultimate example of how this surf spot behaves is Laird Hamilton's Millennium Wave. Teahupoo is a freak of nature that comes to life 500 yards off the southern coast of Tahiti and has already claimed the lives of several accomplished surfers. Shipstern Bluff, Tasmania, Australia. In the Tasman Sea, the name of this surf break speaks for itself. At Shipstern Bluff, the chances of getting out of there alive on a big day are lower than the chances of riding wipeout free monsters. But what makes this surf break so dangerous and scary is definitely its famous step. Shipstern Bluff is a mutant wave that creates a wave within a wave due to the shape of the reef bottom. When steps emerge, surfers are forced to handle the jumps as a heavy and fast breaking lip falls over. Tasmania's most fearful surf spot can only be accessed by either a 30 km jet ski or a boat ride or a two hour hike through the Tasman National Park. Mavericks, Half Moon Bay, California. Mavericks is a brutal a frame wave that breaks off Pillar Point, in Half Moon Bay, at Princeton by the Sea, in Northern California. Mavs is one of the most popular big wave surf spots among heavy chargers because it challenges everyone's anxiety, fear, and confidence levels. But there's more. California's liquid, life and bone breaker roars to life in cold and shark infested waters. With a thick lip and an inside section that can be tricky to negotiate, Mavericks has already claimed lives. Mullimore Head, Donegal Bay, Ireland. Mullimore is Ireland's premium big wave surf break and one of the most feared spots in Europe. 
With a rainy and windy climate painting a dark picture, this wild, shallow, left-hand reef break can only be tamed on high tide. The giant barreling waves break on a rocky bottom and come to life when the classic North Atlantic winter storms hit the Irish coastline. Mullamore is a long and fast wave of consequence, surrounded by dangerous and strong currents, that breaks 100 meters off the local headland. Belhera, La Côte Basque, France. Belhera is an outer reef break located 2.5 kilometers northwest off the coast of the fishing town of Saint Jean de Luz. This gigantic a frame wave breaks over a 15 meter deep, seagrass covered shoal and can be surfed in low tide. Although it only breaks a few times per decade, Belhera produces a massive and violent wave with a heavy lip. To do Santos, Killers, Baja California, Mexico. To do Santos, also known as Killers, is a monstrous wave that breaks 11 miles off the coast of Ensenada in Isla To do Santos. The quintessential Mexican big wave surfing spot takes the most out of the local underwater canyon and creates a powerful, bumpy right hand giant. To do Santos channels the ocean's raw power and the swells from the Pacific Northwest that travel toward the Baja Peninsula. The offshore point break produces the largest waves on the west coast of North America. A deep water channel and great visibility from the nearby island help make it a big wave surfing paradise. Please subscribe, like and hit the notification bell to receive more of this awesome content as it is released. Thanks for watching.